At number 10, Amanda Lepore. American model and socialite Amanda Lepore is one person who isn't shy at all about the plastic surgery procedures that she has had and how much she's changed with each surgery. The transgender model, performer, and now author, who made a name for herself in Hollywood by just being herself, altered a lot of her body over the years, and she's even claimed to have the most expensive body on earth due to all of her surgeries. She's written and talked about all of the procedures that she's had done, and because it is such a long list, you can see how her looks have evolved so much over the years. She's had a nose job, her hairline lowered, her eyebrows lifted, double eyelid surgery, cheekbone, lip and breast augmentation, gender confirmation surgery, hormones, and she even had her ribs broken and reshaped to alter the size of her waist. She even got botched ones when she got silicone lip injections because she got too much filler and her lips got way too big for her liking and she looked so different. Because she said that she got them done about 20 times and went a little overboard, she had to get them reduced because because they just got way too big. She's happy with the way that she looks and she likes to evolve her appearance, so I love that for her. I really do. In at number 9, Jessica Simpson. Throughout her career, Jessica Simpson has changed a lot, at some points looking unrecognizable from her former self. Many credited the change in her appearance to simple weight gain, while others speculated she got cosmetic work done. Well, she just exposed the truth on Instagram, revealing that she was suffering with alcoholism that caused a dramatic change in her appearance. In the long caption, she describes how she looked unrecognizable during her battle with alcoholism. In the photo, her face looks incredibly puffy and inflamed. She explained the photo was from 2017. At the height of her addiction. She said in part, quote, This person in the early morning of November 1st is an unrecognizable version of myself. I had so much self discovery to unlock and explore. Jessica also admitted in her 2020 memoir called Open Book that she had two tummy tucks in 2015 to get rid of loose skin from back to back pregnancies. She got an infection after the second procedure and was in the hospital for nine days to recover. At number eight, Farrah Abraham. Teen mom star Farrah Abraham has been pretty open about her cosmetic procedures and has been under the knife a number of times, but it just takes that one horrible moment to make you rethink all of your plastic surgery choices. You might have seen the infamous photo of Farrah Abraham's botched lip procedure, where she looks nothing like herself. But let me tell you how she got in that mess in the first place. In 2015, the reality star opened up in an interview where she spoke out about how she had a negative experience when she went under the knife for an experimental lip implant procedure. Farrah said that when she got the procedure done, she knew right away that something wasn't right when the anesthesia wasn't working for her. She didn't think too much of it at the time, but as it would turn out, she should have said something to the doctor sooner. After the procedure was done and the implant was put in, that's when things went from bad to worse. Turns out, Farrah had a really intense reaction to something during the procedure that caused her lip to swell up like crazy, leading to those crazy photos. Luckily, she was able to get things sorted out and her lip went back to normal, but she did say that it was a really scary experience for her and she thought that she would never look like herself again. In at number 7, Christina Aguilera. In 2018, Christina stepped out with an entirely new appearance, which got fans talking. Her face looked very puffy and swollen, possibly from getting too much filler. Surgeons and fans had tons of reactions to her new look. One plastic surgeon said, quote, Christina may have the appearance of fuller cheeks due to increased volume from fillers such as Voluma or Restylane. Another said, I believe that Christina's puffiness can be attributed to overfilled facial fillers like Belly Fill or Voluma. She probably tried to fill out any wrinkles and give her face some youthful fullness. Her lips are also fuller, most likely from lip fillers. In 2015, it was also reported that Christina got a nose job. One surgeon said that he believes her doctor used cartilage to rebuild her nose after her first nose job was botched. At number 6, Justin Judlica. Justin Judlica, also known as the real life Ken doll, got famous because he was on the show Botched and became a fan favorite, so obviously I had to include him in this list. Justin became famous because of his exaggerated looks, because he made it his life's mission to become a real life Ken doll. For him, the more plastic he looks, the better. Obviously, Obviously, Justin wasn't born looking the way he does now, and if you look at old pictures of him, you can really see how drastically different he looks. Justin was on the show Botched very early on in the show's first season, making his debut in the series' first episode. He said that he's received about a thousand surgeries to achieve the look that he has now, and there's no sign of stopping his transformation anytime soon. Justin said that he became obsessed with his appearance after growing up watching the show Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, and recalling that everyone on that show had plastic surgery. To him, he believed that this lifestyle meant that you were successful, and so he's made it his mission to look like an unrecognized 
recognizable plastic doll. Halfway at number 5, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson first gained fame through the Jackson 5 as a child, and as he grew up he started to look unrecognizable from his child self. At some point his appearance changed so much, it was clear that he was undergoing plastic surgery. Much of it was deemed botched by the general public. It's rumored that he underwent countless nose jobs, as well as skin bleaching. However, Jackson claimed to have vitiligo, and that's why his skin lightened over time. When asked about his nose job, Jackson told Martin Bashir, quote, I've had no plastic surgery on my face, just my nose. It helps me breathe better so I can hit higher notes. I've had two nose jobs as I can remember. However, many plastic surgeons speculate he had far more than two nose jobs and that he developed nasal cripples due to the lack of tissue to breathe through. At number four, Jamie Lee Curtis. You wouldn't really guess it, but at one point, Jamie Lee Curtis got plastic surgery and she ended up looking a little unrecognizable. The actress opened up about a procedure she had received before shooting a movie where she got the fat taken out from underneath her eyes because she said that she was looking a little puffy. Well, it turns out that she got a little botched and her looks weren't too great because when she got to set to start filming the movie, the cameraman actually said that he couldn't shoot her anymore because her face looked so different. Jamie recalled feeling super embarrassed because she had just changed her looks too much. She also said that she was unaware of the fact that when you take fat from one area of your body, it quote, comes back in another place. Jamie took this botched experience as a learning moment and never tried a procedure like that again. And at number 3, Ariel Winter. Ariel gained notoriety as a teen star acting on Modern Family. Since leaving the show, her look has gotten incredibly mature, and many think this isn't solely from genetics. On one Instagram post, fans were calling out Ariel for changing, saying that they liked how she looked before plastic surgery. Ariel was so offended by the comment that she actually responded to it, saying, quote, I appreciate you wanting to help girls love themselves the way they are, but you're also kind of cutting someone, me, down, which isn't what I think you were trying to do. I also didn't get plastic surgery. That's also not being supportive of women if you're just assuming something about the way they look. She's been open about getting a breast reduction in 2015, but many think she is lying and had more procedures. It's also been speculated she receives lip filler along with getting a small nose job. At number two, Barry Manilow. Some celebrities aren't shy about the work they've had done, and others go to great lengths to hide it. One celebrity who has continuously denied their plastic surgery is singer Barry Manilow, because even though there's been a lot of proof to indicate he's had work done, and the fact that he looks unrecognizable after all of those procedures, he still claims to be all natural. In an interview, Barry claimed to have only undergone surgeries and treatments for his health, like getting hip surgery and receiving steroid shots, but judging by the way that he looks nowadays, a lot of people aren't buying that and have pretty much revealed that he's been lying about getting work done for cosmetic purposes. It's been reported that over the years, Barry has undergone several procedures, including having had three facelifts and eyelid surgery. There are even photos of Barry from 2003 showing him leaving the plastic surgeon's office in Beverly Hills. In the photos, he's seen wrapped up in bandages while wearing a disguise of sunglasses and a blonde wig in order to avoid being recognized. But we all know that it's him. He's not fooling anyone. And finally, at number one, Celine Dion. In 2018, following the passing of her longtime husband, sources say that Celine tried to improve her look with cosmetic procedures, but the procedures were botched and she looked nothing like herself. The source said, quote, she totally lost her looks and is unrecognizable. The word is she went under the knife to try and give herself a fresh start, but whatever she's done, it clearly hasn't turned out very well. One plastic surgeon who did not treat Celine, Dr. Dave David, noted the changes are so drastic he wouldn't recognize her if he saw her out. Quote, she looks terrible, haggard, and homely. The doctor believed she had a nose job, fillers in her cheeks and under the eyes, Botox in her upper lip, and had her eyebrows thinned and lightened. And it's not a stretch to assume Celine had some procedures done as she revealed in the past that she is open to receiving facial filler. At number 10, Jennifer Grey. Imagine investing in plastic surgery to look better just to watch your career tank after getting whatever procedure done. Well, that's what happened with actress Jennifer Grey, as getting a nose job was the worst mistake of her career and pretty much ended it. Jennifer Grey became super well known after her role in Dirty Dancing, but after her rhinoplasty, things went south for the actress's career. Her appearance wasn't necessarily botched from the surgery itself, as everything went according to plan, but maybe things went a little too well. After getting the surgery, her nose looked very different to how it looked before, and it completely changed her face. As a result, Jennifer found herself struggling to book roles and getting less and less work. Everyone knew her for her face, but since it had changed, became almost unrecognizable and and that wasn't good for her career. When speaking out about her procedure, she called it the quote, nose job from hell because it pretty much 
botched her career. She thought that altering her nose would make things better for her because she would have had what she thought was a better appearance, but instead things just got worse. At number 9, Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox is best known for her iconic role as Monica Geller on Friends. Though she had the looks when on the beloved sitcom, things changed after she got plastic surgery. Courtney became the unfortunate victim of botched Botox, and since then the actress has sworn off any kind of cosmetic procedures. Courtney has said in interviews that some doctors started suggesting that she get fillers here and there, and after one too many posts, she was left looking more plastic than human and totally botched. Courtney was led down a dark path of cosmetic alterations to make herself look more youthful, but in the end, the actress said that all these procedures just led her to feeling more and more unhappy with her appearance. It was a vicious cycle for her. The fillers she got became so intense that Courtney eventually said enough is enough and got all the fillers in her face dissolved. Because she was left looking so unlike herself after getting botched, Courtney says that she now prefers to be all natural, embracing her natural beauty. Before we carry on talking about actors and their unfortunate plastic surgery mishaps, why not take a moment to leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and also consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos like this one. At number 8, Tara Reid. Hollywood's It Girl Tara Reid was making it big in the industry at the height of her career. That is, until she got a botched plastic surgery that derailed her career completely. In 2004, Tara wanted to get some work done to her body and she received a few surgeries. She got breast implants and underwent a procedure called a liposculpting. But this was where things went horribly wrong. After these procedures, she was left disfigured, describing some of the aftermath saying, quote, My stomach became the most ripply, bulgy thing. I had a hernia, this huge bump next to my belly button. As a result, I couldn't wear a bikini. I lost a lot of work. End quote. Things got even worse for her public image after a wardrobe malfunction at Diddy's 35th birthday party in 2004 exposed her botched body to the world. A lot of people online ended up body shaming the actress, making the situation so much harder for her to deal with at the time. Even though she was able to correct the mistakes done to her appearance two years later, the damage was already done to her public image and career, showing us that not only was her body botched, but her career was as well. At number 7, Dana Delaney. There are a growing number of people out there getting both. Botox. A lot of young adults are starting to get fillers even though they don't really need to because it's seen as the new trend. Getting injectables seems to be the newest trend probably because it's one of the least invasive plastic surgery procedures you can receive. But just because it's not a serious surgery doesn't mean there's no risk and Desperate Housewives actress Dana Delaney can attest to that. Dana opened up about one of the worst procedures she received and one of people's biggest nightmares, that being Dr. Error. In 2003, Dana decided to go in to receive some Botox injections after her dermatologist convinced her to try it out. When she went in for the procedure, things went horribly wrong after the doctor performing the procedure injected the needle into the wrong place in her forehead and actually ended up causing quite a lot of damage. When he injected it into her forehead, the needle ended up striking a nerve. This then created a huge hematoma in her forehead and actually ended up killing the nerve that was struck. Unfortunately for Dana, this mistake was pretty serious because it ended up affecting the muscle in her right eye, which caused her eye to begin to droop down. Slightly. Dana spoke out about the experience, saying, quote, I noticed it more than anybody else, but I was symmetrical before and now I'm not. End quote. This procedure marked the first and last time she got any kind of plastic surgery done because she didn't want to risk getting botched again. At number six, Ashley Tisdale. Here's a celebrity whose own body botched their plastic surgery results. Former Disney star Ashley Tisdale is another celebrity who's gone plastic and has experienced health complications as a result of getting work done. When Ashley first got her breast implants, she received the results that she was looking for. Ashley told her fans how before she got them done, she felt really insecure about her body, seeing that she felt as though getting this procedure done would help her feel better about herself. Though this augmentation did help boost her confidence for a while, Ashley said that soon there came a time when the implants started to negatively impact her life and her health, saying, quote, Little by little, I began struggling with minor health issues that were just not adding up. Food sensitivities as well as gut issues that I thought could be caused by my implants, end quote. The actress continued talking about how she made the decision to remove her implants to save herself from her health complications. Even though she walked away from the initial procedure with a good result, her health is really what got botched in the process. At number 5, Mickey Rourke. For a long time, people have made some pretty harsh comments about Mickey Rourke's face. In his early career, he was praised for his looks, but now 
Not so much. A lot of people believe that he doesn't look anything like he used to, and a lot of that has to do with his botched plastic surgery having altered his appearance drastically. Mickey has spoken out about his altered appearance, saying that boxing is really what caused things to go downhill for him. Because he went in for reconstructive surgery from things that had been damaged through boxing, his face has never been the same. Speaking further on this, Mickey said, quote, Most of it was to mend the mess of my face because of boxing, but I went to the wrong guy to put my face back together. I had my nose broken twice, I had five operations on my nose and one on a smashed cheekbone. End quote. If Mickey had gone to someone else for these procedures, maybe things would have been different and he wouldn't have gotten so botched. At number four, Laura Flynn Boyle. Laura Flynn Boyle was stunning in the 90s when she acted on shows like Twin Peaks and The Practice, but in the early 2000s, her look started changing drastically, specifically her lips. Over time, fans started to notice that her face started to look very unnatural, and as a result of her altered appearance, no one wanted to cast her anymore. Boyle commented before her procedures that she was scared of aging, as she knew that she would lose work, but her botched procedures are what have actually blacklisted her from the industry. In 2010, Paul S. Nassif told the Daily Mail, quote, Laura Flynn Boyle appears to have had a rhinoplasty, lip augmentation, Botox, facial fillers, and possibly a brow lift and facelift. End quote. Nassif also said that Laura should refrain from any more procedures. Plastic surgeon Dr. Michael Saulhauser agreed, telling the outlet, quote, Laura Flynn Boyle, I feel, has gone overboard with the fillers to her cheeks and lips. End quote. At number three, Jamie Lee Curtis. Now this one actually surprised me a lot because I never actually knew that Jamie Lee Curtis had gone under the knife, but apparently it happened and it wasn't pretty. The actress opened up about a procedure she had received before shooting a movie where she got the fat taken out from underneath her eyes because she said that she was looking puffy. Well, it turns out that this ended up a little botched and her looks weren't too great because when she got to set to start filming the movie, the cameraman actually said that he couldn't shoot her anymore because her face was messed up. Jamie recalled feeling Feeling super embarrassed because she had changed her looks too much. She also said that she was unaware of the fact that when you take fat from one area of your body, a quote comes back in another place. Jamie took this botched experience as a learning moment and never tried a procedure like that again. At number two, Heidi Montag. Heidi Montag is probably one of the most well known celebrities for having received botched plastic surgery. In 2010, Heidi took her looks and her body to the limit and underwent 10 procedures in the same day. The procedures she received were neck liposuction, a brow lift, a nose job revision, a chin reduction, getting her ears pinned back, a second breast augmentation, fat injections in her cheek, liposuction in her waist, hip and inner thighs, Botox in her forehead, and butt implants. So needless to say, there was a lot going on that day. In the aftermath of her dramatic transformation, Heidi opened up about her procedures, her regrets, and what went wrong. She said that her breast augmentation went too far as she made her chest too heavy for the rest of her body, and as if that wasn't bad enough, this long day of surgery took such a huge toll on her body that she actually flatlined for a minute during surgery. Heidi also said that these procedures left her with some pretty bad scarring as well. After all of this work, not only was her appearance botched, but her career was as well, as she ended up losing a lot of work because of this drastic change. And finally, at number one, Zac Efron. Now this one isn't exactly a confirmed plastic surgery case, but it sure did cause a lot of commotion over the summer. There had been a lot of speculation concerning Zac Efron's supposed new look, as people started is saying that Zach got some work done, and by some, I mean a drastic amount. Zach showed up in a video about Earth Day looking pretty different and very swollen. The lower half of his face was looking very puffy, almost like he had gotten a lot of Botox done or some other kind of procedure, and people were super confused by this sudden transformation. The internet started debating whether or not he'd gotten surgery, with some people chalking this all up to Zach simply getting wisdom tooth surgery, using that to explain all the puffiness, but others weren't too convinced. According to one celebrity plastic surgeon, they thought that it looked like Zach may have gotten fillers to reshape his jawline, or that he had actually gone under the knife, and that there was some residual swelling going on. It was all just a very sudden change that a lot of people just weren't expecting. Starting us off at number 10 is Victoria Beckham. The fashion designer and former Spice Girl is beautiful nonetheless, but has publicly admitted to regretting her decision on getting plastic surgery. She said what she regrets the most are her breast implants that she got when she was just a teenager. So much so 
so that she ended up getting them removed. She was 18 years old when she first got them done and during an interview in 2017 she said, I should probably say don't mess with your boobs. All those years I denied it. Stupid. A sign of insecurity. Just celebrate what you've got. I personally remember idolizing the Spice Girls like religiously when I was young so to hear that even she would suggest not getting them is very important. I'm honestly really glad that she's open and honest about her experience with it because I think especially for young girls who still look up to the Spice Girls, this could be very eye opening for them. Up next number 9 is Cher. There is no denying that the 74 year old icon still looks incredible for her age and we can probably say that plastic surgery has helped with that but she has openly admitted that. She's always been open about the work she's had done and has cracked jokes about her facelift. But she doesn't regret anything that she's had done to her new face transformation. The one thing she regrets is her breast augmentation. I'm already seeing a little trend happening here. She told People Magazine that the surgery was a nightmare. She said they were really botched in every way. If anything, they were worse after than before. Clearly, that was not the goal when going to get the procedure done, but she has been able to hide it well, and certainly it has not hurt her confidence. Well, that we can tell. Sliding number eight is Courtney Cox. The Friends star looks a lot different than when we saw her playing the iconic role of Monica Geller on the TV series. And that's because gradually over time, she's had a lot of work done to her face, which she now regrets. She had an open talk about it with New Beauty and said that it all started when doctors told her that a little injection and filler here or there would not do any harm. But things went too far and the actress said she did not look like herself anymore, which is not what she wanted. She said, I've had all my fillers dissolved. I'm as natural as I can be. I feel better because I look more like myself. Everything is going to drop. I was trying to make it not drop, but that made me look fake. She also admitted to stopping treatment and procedures like all together. Regardless, she was beautiful as Monica and she is still beautiful as Courtney. But in pictures, comparison, they do look like two different people. She did not need to touch her face. She was so freaking pretty. That like hurts me. It literally kills me when like stunning people fix themselves. Fix. Moving on to number seven, we have Chrissy Teigen. She is now known for being a mother to John Legend's kids who tweets sarcastic comments and has her own cookbook and company, but she was once a model with big dreams. In May 2020, she talked to Glamour UK and revealed that she had breast implants done when she was just 20 years old. She said she did it because she was modeling swimsuits at the time and when she laid on her back in the photos, you know, she wanted them to look perky. But then she had babies and said the milk made them deflate. She ended up announcing on her Instagram recently that she was going to have her implants completely removed because she's simply over it. Chrissy seemed excited for the surgery, stating that she wants to be able to zip up a dress in her size and lay on her belly with just pure comfort. When she got them done at 20, she was a model regardless because she was stunning and admits that she didn't need the boobs. You know, she just kind of wanted them. And she was young and a model. I can just imagine the pressures at that age, especially swimsuits. In at number six is Mickey Rourke. In the prime of his acting career, he was a total heartthrob, but there was a time when he had a different career where he took some shots to his handsome little face. He was once an amateur boxer and said that after some injuries, he underwent some plastic surgery in hopes to fix it, but admitted that he chose the wrong doctor. Never a good thing. Back in 2017, when pictures of his new face surfaced online, people were in complete shock with how different he looked. He talked about his decision for plastic surgery and said, most of it was to mend the mess of my face because of boxing, but I went to the wrong guy to put my face back together. Some of the injuries he had was a broken nose twice and a smashed cheekbone. He said he doesn't regret the decision to get his face fixed, but he regrets the doctor he went to. Yeah. We have made it halfway through and we have Tara Reid. The American Pie hottie has been open and honest about her plastic surgery experience in hopes to help other women before choosing to get work done. 
She got breast implants in 2004, which caused issues for her body in other places. She said that her stomach started to ripple and caused her to have a hernia, leaving her with a huge bump next to her belly button. She regretted it so much that she said it was the stupidest thing she's ever done, and she actually had the procedure reversed just two years later. She also had to get liposculpting done on her stomach to fix what had happened. Even after getting her breast augmentation reversed, she said that she was left again with deformed breasts. Oh, it's always a risk, you guys. You know, there are a lot who do have success, but <laughs> that's so scary. Cruising into number four is Jennifer Grey. The Dirty Dancing star has always had a very distinctive face and was known for her stunning looks. But when she decided to get rhinoplasty, it changed everything and she said it was the worst decision she's ever made. She said the operation completely changed her face and it ruined her entire career. When speaking about it during an interview, she said, I went in the operating room as a celebrity and came out anonymous. It was like being in a witness protection program or being invisible. I'll always be this once famous actress no Nobody recognizes because of my nose job. Now, I don't think she looks bad. Like, it's not like the surgery, like, botched her face physically, but she does look like a completely different person. Like, when I saw pictures, I was like, literally, different person. So I do understand what she means. And that one's really sad. In the third spot on our list is Kourtney Kardashian. Plastic surgery is no surprise to the Kardashian sisters, but it might be surprising to know that Kourtney regrets some of it. In 2011, she was talking to Showbiz Spy and said that she wished she didn't get her breast implants when she was 22 or at all. She said, I had my boobs done, but if I could go back, I wouldn't have done it. I was so cute before. I have realized that I was made to look a certain way and I'm considering removing them. Now, obviously this interview was years ago, and if you see her these days, she has not removed them, but her opinion still stands. And honestly, it's probably even more so now because she's a mother of three. So, you know, she's had to gone through the whole breastfeeding thing, the milk, and she probably just sees the whole thing from a different perspective now. Rolling into number two is Joan Rivers. Going under the knife has never been a secret when it comes to this comedian. She's publicly talked about her procedures, which is a pretty decent list. Apparently, she's had a facelift, a nose job, a breast reduction, chin tucks, Botox, collagen, eye procedures, and lipo. She's actually happy to have the work done, but one thing she regrets is the lipo because it did not go as planned, which I think we know by now is a huge risk. She explained that she did not research the doctor enough before going, and the result of it just was not smooth. She also said if she could go back in time, she would have never done it. Maybe not with this doctor. Like, I feel like she might have done it with another one since she has had all the other work done. Obviously, she's not opposed to it, but didn't go as planned. Earning number one spot on our list is Heidi Montag. The Hill star takes the prize after having 10 surgeries done at one time and giving herself a total transformation, leaving her to look like a totally different person. She once wanted to look like Barbie with size H boobs for Heidi. Like literally, those were her words. But now she's an advocate for girls and encourages people to accept themselves rather than getting work done. She said she completely regrets it and wishes that she could take it all back. During an interview, she said, surgery ruined my career and my personal life and just brought a lot of negativity into my world. I wish I could jump into a time machine and take it all back. I would never do it again and I never recommend it to anyone. She explained that at first, she only went in there wanting a few enhancements, but then it just got completely out of hand. 